I'm going to demonstrate tuning the cello. The first string we start with is A. And that will be 440 on your tuner. The next string is D. To use your harmonics to tune the cello, you start with the halfway harmonic on the A string using your third finger. And you find the harmonic that divides the string in thirds with your first finger on the D string. These two pitches should match. And then you move to the D string. G string. And then you do the same thing on the G string and the C string. Now I'm going to demonstrate if your cello is out of tune what you do. <clears throat> if you have a string that is pretty out of tune, you'll have to use the peg. So I'm going to turn the peg towards me to lo loosen some of the tension and then away because th I made the string flatter and I'm trying to make it sharper. I'm going to use my tuner to find when my A is in tune. says it's sharp, so now I'm going to use my fine tuner and turn it to the right, that's counterclockwise when you're behind the cello. It's still sharp. I'm going to turn it to the right some more. Getting closer, I'm seeing some green there. I keep going. Very close. The needle should be right in the middle. And now I have an A. I'm going to check with my harmonics and see if... Because sometimes when one string gets out of tune, it affects the others. Now my D string is a little flat. So using my fine tuner, I'm going to turn to the left, and that's real easy to remember because flat and left both have four letters, right and sharp both have five. A little flat still. That's a little sharp. put my A out of tune, it made all of them a little out of tune. Tuning is subjective, that means that you just have to trust your ear and decide when you think it's out of tune or in tune. Good luck, have fun.